Hello, I'm Sam Howard, and this presentation is on characterization of Haifu fields inside of a tissue mimicking Haifu phantom. First, some background and motivation. Phantoms are obviously useful for Haifu for dosimetry as well as checking on the performance of Haifu equipment. Prior to 2003, thermal phantoms were introduced based on polyacrylamide as the phantom matrix with albumin added as a marker inside of that matrix. Uh, the albumin, uh, upon achieving a temperature, would denature and change optically or uh, uh, its uh, performance in magnetic resonance imaging equipment would change. Um, the issue here is that in order to achieve realistic acoustic attenuation, typically large scatterers were added in order to achieve that attenuation. These scatterers were large compared with the optical wavelength, so visual detection could sometimes be obscured by those large optical scatterers. Uh, in 2003, my company in introduced a proprietary polyacrylamide uh, formulation, which had some proprietary additional components that allowed realistic attenuation without adding those scatterers so that uh, the lesion formation was very clearly delineated. Presently, we're investigating the use of this phantom with optical hydrophone uh, so that pressure can be measured inside of the phantom. Um, here is an example of the original optical use of the phantom. Uh, it turns opaque at approximately 70 degrees Celsius. Um, this makes it useful for checking the consistency of transducer performance as well as also for thermal modeling of uh, Haifu dosage. Um, these are some acoustic properties uh, showing that uh, the attenuation and velocity are very similar to uh, tissue, many tissues. Um, uh, density being very close to water also makes the impedance very similar. Um, here's some thermal modeling uh, examples of the growth of a lesion over time um, with uh, uh, leaving on a 10 watt um, F1 4 megahertz HIFU source um, uh, with modeling done in finite elements for what the growth of the lesion should be. The present work discusses the use of another product of ours, a fiber optic hydrophone, where it is embedded in the Haifu phantom. The fiber optic hydrophone is very well suited for measuring Haifu because of its wide bandwidth and ability to withstand high pressures up to hundreds of megas, megapascals. The use with this particular phantom is very attractive because of the optical clarity of the phantom and uh, the lack of uh, large scatterers which would interfere with the operation of the hydrophone. Uh, this is an example of the calibration which was done in water for the phantom. Here is the setup. The phantom is encased in this uh, plastic box. Uh, the fiber is introduced uh, through a cannula at the bottom of the box and it's being sonicated by the transducer at the top of the box. Um, with a transducer which uh, is a uh, 3.74 megahertz F1 transducer. And here are some results. In blue, you see the measurement of the waveform in terms of pressure, uh, both in water and in gel using the same transducer. Uh, this was all assuming that the same calibration that was done in water was good for gel. In addition, we modeled the pressure field assuming a 15 millimeter equivalent source diameter uh, and um, the same nonlinearity parameter B over A for the gel as for water. With results that are fairly good, um, these were results um, at the uh, maximum pressure achieved before we started to see cavitation in the gel, uh, which uh, occurred at around uh, 7 uh, megapascals peak negative pressure. In terms of the next steps, um, 
Obviously, we would like to uh, rigorously define the calibration in gel, uh, probably with respect to a source transducer. Um, also, in, in improve the source model um, uh, and also obtain the nonlinear parameters for the gel for higher uh, accuracy. Um, and this will allow us to rigorously evaluate the HFO measurement uh, to understand what the uncertainties in this measurement are. Um, also, uh, we'd like to explore improvements in the pressure limits uh, for the gel, particularly by degassing. Uh, and finally, uh, refine the apparatus, basically making it larger to allow some scanning of the source relative to the uh, hydrophone so we can get some more um, beam profile information. I thank you.